It's no secret that to survive, a human being needs to consume food. For I am future, we designed a special cook mode, a feature that allows you to cook wholesome dishes that will keep your stomach full. We're envisioning that mode to be a creative and delightful experience, allowing you to combine various foodstuffs in search of new recipes. Initially, you'll be able to mix only two types of ingredients. However, an additional dish slot will unlock as you upgrade your field kitchen. We want recipes to be simple and intuitive. For example, you can transform blueberries into a delicious jam and then prepare a fresh bun to pair it with. Combine fish fillets with water and you've got a hot and flavorful fish soup. As you unlock new ingredients, you will be able to combine them with the old ones to access even more tantalizing cooking formulas. Complex dishes can provide additional buffs, such as increased health bar capacity. Once you discover a recipe, you can cook it using the campfire. We plan on adding around 20 different dishes on release. But wait, you say, the world is submerged in seawater. How do I access fresh water for cooking? <laughs> Fear not, future dweller, for you are a resourceful inventor. Utilize charcoal to desalinate water and set up an automated system of pumps to solve this problem. Base building. Now that your stomach's full, it's time to get to business, which involves arranging your dwelling. Structures you can build on your rooftop base are divided into three categories. Production structures include workbenches, biogenerators, campfires, molecular synthesizers, and more. They are meant to produce resources and tools. Defensive structures, fences and torches, guard your roof against mutated leeches, weeds, and other pests. Various auxiliary structures, such as storage, can be built to keep your supplies well organized. Some structures run solely on electricity, meaning they need to be connected to generators. The generator uses biomass found on the roof to produce energy. Another electricity-dependent structure is the crypto farm. It provides a special currency, U-coins, that can be used to purchase essential items while exploring the flooded cityscape with a drone. The resource printer also needs electricity to work. Printed resources will prove useful in late-game construction. For instance, for building bridges between roofs. Automation. Tending to your base alone in a deserted megalopolis can get dull occasionally. Worry not though, future dweller. The loneliness of the post-apocalypse can be remedied by surrounding yourself with friendly robots. They will help you around with the housework while you kick back and enjoy their company. These adorable steel minions have three roles. Collector, Builder, and Technician. The Collector gathers and stores junk, saving you precious time. The Builder retrieves resources from storage and transports them to construction sites, acting as your trusty construction worker. Lastly, the Technician maintains structures that require resources to function. In the future, Technicians will also manage automated irrigation systems and resource printers. Minions operate on energy and can be recharged at designated charging stations. They have automatic and manual modes, allowing them to choose objects to work with or follow your specific instructions. Additionally, you can customize their colors and adorn them with cool-looking hats. To create these mechanized helpers, you need to find programmable cores. It can be done during expeditions or through side quests. I hope you enjoyed this I Am Future gameplay overview video. Play the demo on Steam now and add the game to your wish list. I Am Future is coming to Steam Early Access on August 8th. See you all in the future!